HTTP acronym stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It's application layer protocol and it is the foundation for web communication. Development of protocol was initiated by a nice guy called Tim Berners-Lee at CERN back in 1989. And it's summarized in a simple document describing behavior of client and a server using first HTTP version 0.9. First web page ever went live on August 6, 1991. Surprisingly, it is still available by its original URL. It is a simple page with title, formatted text, and links to other pages. HTTP functions as a request response protocol in the client server model. Client submits a request message to the server. The server in turn returns a response back to the client. As a client here could be a browser, mobile app, desktop application, or even another server. Server in response can return any kind of content like web page, picture, video, JSON, or just an unstructured text file. Request and response are just text messages with pretty much the same structure. They both begin with start line. Request start line contains HTTP method, in our case it's get, request path with its query, and HTTP version, in our case it's HTTP version 2. Response start line contains the same HTTP method, version, and response status code. In our case, it's 200 OK, which means that request was successful. Next section is for HTTP headers, where a client and a server can send additional information about the request or response. Headers are in fact key value pairs separated by colon. It could be information about host, user agent, like what browser is used by client, in which format client would like to see the response, in our case it's HTML page, authorization and other stuff. Response headers may contain data like date, content type, content length as shown in example. It also could be caching information, resource version, cookies and others. Next section is just an empty line which is separator between headers and a body. The last section is the actual data. As for response, in our example, it's HTML page markup. Non-get request messages can also contain a body. Let's briefly take a look into most commonly used HTTP methods. Get is used to retrieve information from the server. Whenever user opens a web page, the browser makes get request in order to receive it. Head acts almost like a get, but it requests only headers, without body. Good example of its usage would be checking for resource existence. Or it might be just receiving metadata to understand the response size and act appropriately. Post is used to submit new data. It could be used for user registration or submitting a new order on Amazon, as an example. Put to update existing data. As an example, it could be editing user profile information in Facebook or updating listing information in eBay. Delete, as it sounds, is used to remove existing data from the server. Delete your tweet in Twitter or remove your comment from YouTube. HTTP status is a three-digit code which indicates if a request was completed successfully. 100 codes are informational codes. As an example, depending on specific code, it could mean that everything is OK so far and the client should continue with his request. It could contain instructions to switch protocol to another one or just indicate that request is processing but no response is available yet. 200 codes are indicating success. One of the most common responses is 200 OK, meaning everything went well. As well as 200 at 1 
code is indicating that resource was successfully created, which can be used in response to POST request. 202 response means that request is accepted, but processing was not completed yet. 300 codes generally mean that client must take additional action to complete the request. Many of them are used for redirection. 400 codes are intended for situation where a problem seem to be on the client side, like 400 code indicating a bad request, which means that request was malformed to large or other kind of issues. 404 means that requested resource was not found. Status codes beginning with 5 are generally meaning that something went wrong on the server side, like the server is unavailable or it could be just a bug in the code itself. One of the problems of HTTP is that request and response are plain text messages. Such messages can be intercepted and understood by villain. This is especially problem if request contains sensitive data like password or credit card information, which will make him happy. That's why nowadays most of the websites are running on top of HTTPS, which is a secured version of HTTP. The main difference is that messages are being encrypted, which makes them look like a set of meaningless characters. This makes attacker sad, as there is no way for him to read the plain message without having keys to decrypt it. That was HTTP in short. Please let me know if you like this video.